Okay, the Buri Emuno, we are holding my Daf Kuf Zayin. What does the Rebbe want from us? Here, from one side, we have to be, we have to rejoice, be very happy, to thank Hakadosh Baruch Hu such a Rebbe, for the Rebbe that Enochinami lived about 200 years ago, and he had such Talmidim, such high level Talmidim, such Kedoshim and Tzadikim, but. He's our Rebbe. He's Mamash, our Rebbe. He had told me that, like, you can't even, you know, put it into your head. You know, the Chazanish said that when the Chovetz Chaim was nostalgic, it was such a Yeridus of Darius. He says that, that what happened what before and what was after it's, cannot be compared. He says the Darius, the generation after the Chovetz Chaim, which included the Chazanish, the Briskarov, the Satmar Rebbe, the Munkat Rebbe. Yeah, oh, this is already really so this, this is like, you know, like, 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 like Bobkis and compared to the generation of the Chavetz Chaim and, and everything that came, uh, that came before. So this, uh, this is like a hundred years ago. Right? It's just a hundred years ago. You're talking about the generation, the generation of the of the Chofetz Chaim was a bogus compared to them. You know, you're already talking about the generation that 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 uh, uh, the Chofetz Chaim is talking about. You know, the, the animal generation of the the Shinivar of the 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 the, the, the Diver Chaim from Tzad. You're talking about the the first Shlomo of Radomsk. You're talking about. You know, and you're talking about Tzvi Hash Dinavar, you know, the, 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 uh, and they were both kissing compared to those that were before them. You know, the Aptaruv and, and all those, which both kiss compared to the generation that came before them, you know, the British the, Aptaruv, the, the, the uh, you know, whatever it is, and these are the Tamino Fabeno, you know, the, the, and he's our Rebbe. He is our Rebbe. You know, the Rebbe of all these, he is our Rebbe. And he says, and this chesed, we have to thank the Kodesh Baruch Hu non-stop. The Kodesh Baruch where is the Rebbe like this? But, on the other hand, if this is our state, you know, we have an obligation to be different, you know. <laughs> we, have, we must be different. We have, such, we have such a Rebbe. We have to know that he wants something from us and we have to behave accordingly. Now, he doesn't put, you know, Harsh avoidance on us. We don't have to climb the walls. You know, we don't have to climb the walls. But whatever it is he wants from us, we have to do it and without trying to find, to squeeze a way out. He says, one of the basic chiyuvim, he says, is to wake up chatzais. He says, and to, to be misable on chumas amigdash. This book promises to put you know, to those who mourn for, for Zion, to give them glory instead of ashes. He says, who are the, who are the, calling the mourners of Yerushalayim, of Tzirin? You know, that I include in this Aftar Kodesh Baruch He says, without any doubt, these are all those who wake up Chatzois. And mourn for the base of English, God says, they are the late Who is thinking of Tzirin? Who is thinking of the of English? Who is thinking of all these things that we lost because of the, you know, because of the Chorban? If not those who are careful to wake up chatzos every night, you know that mourn and cry and, and, and on the chumla of amigdos. The Rebbe, you know, waxes at length on this famous Torah, Samech Zayin Chelik Beis, about the milo of waking up chatzos, and he says that two types of fire. There's a fire that consumes and destroys, and there's the fire that illuminates, it gives off light. The first fire is called Morea Eish and the second one is called Morea Oyer. And it says that the time of the of the Chorban it was it was uh, uh, an, an, an overcoming of Morea Eish. And it says the Yatsis Yatsis Eish Besim he he ignited Eish Besim. And by waking up Chatzois, you are being saved from your age. The Rebbe says over there, he brings the Ma'am Chazal, 
he who mourns Yerushalayim, he is zorche to see at its happiness. He says, Mus'abel, kola Mus'abel Yerushalayim, Mus'abel, every single letter of the word Mus'abel, if it, it's the acronym of Lo Sevaru Esh Bechol Mechmasecha. You should not ignite fire in all your place of residence. In other words, if you will zorche to be from Avil Avi Eitziyayim, then you won't have from the Ma'or Ha'esh that burn and annihilate. That's a different thing, Pe'er, glory, and Efe, which is ashes. The ashes is the outcome of Ma'or Ha'esh, the illuminators of fire. And Pe'er, what film? Ma'or that's the illuminator of light. In other words, Avilei Tzion will be Zoycheh to glory. In other words, a light instead of ashes. This is the result of which is result, result of Meorah age. This is kind of, these are the kind of the Burim Tavina speaks on a village here, the mourners of Syria. And anybody who is to wake up Chatzoyev, so he's included in a village here. A person is Mechuyev to mourn every day of his Amigdash. And you have to know the, the preciousness the tremendous preciousness of Besam English and what we lost in its Choban. At the time when Besam English was standing in Yerushalayim, it's called Tzedek Yalimbo, justice will reside in it. That in Yerushalayim, in Yerushalayim, people would not sleep with an Avera. In other words, people would not go to sleep, would not pass the night with an Avera on top of them, on them. Rabbeinu says that the Am is such, is such so highly because of the Kedusha, they cannot sustain, you know, the, the Avera even for a minute, even for a day. That's why Mishra Mikdash was existing. There were two Tomids, the two Korbanas, Korban Tomid of the morning, and Korban Tomid of the Oben Arbayim. This is Am HaSorech HaMetorech HaNesuovim, the, 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 the nation that resides in it is free from Averas, free from free from sin. Because because there was no oh, nothing left sleeping there during the day or during the night. But we don't have time English, what 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 shall we do? How are we gonna keep ourselves from Averas? The eighth is to wake up Khatsuris and to, to express our sorrow for the great loss. Since we cannot carry such a carry of, of such a, a weight of Averas. So we want a Beis Amigdash to atone for us. That's why we have to be so careful in such an Eitzah. And if you are zoichet to chapa es rotzon asos, this es rotzon of chatzois, to cry in Chom HaBeis Amigdash and the exile of the Shekinu, bevadai, 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 will be zoichet to stay away from sinning. And the Rabbeinu says that every person has to say chatzois on himself. When he's saying chatzois, Supposed to himself when he's saying in Chatzoyis best and shame of Asif Artinu, Asherayo, the Srefus Esh, our temple, the house of our Kedusha and our glory, was consumed by fire. We're talking about our Moich, but our Moich is our Besamikdash, it's our place of glory. It was burned by fire. So, Meorea Esh, bad thoughts that are burning the Moich, Achmonu Atzlan. At the shame to continue tomorrow.